Welcome back. So we're talking about data science, uh, kind of how you can ask and answer questions with data uh, as a primary tool. So I think of this as data-driven inquiry or hypothesis uh, design and testing. And I want to talk now about how this is being used in uh, complex manufacturing processes. So I think you know, data science has been transformative in how uh, data-intensive fields of science are run, like astronomy, uh, you know, genome sciences, also a lot of tech companies that are data rich and really data centric or, or data intensive. Uh, but increasingly, data science is changing how we think about complex engineering and industrial processes. Uh, so I think about, you know, manufacturing or design where you have maybe a complex supply chain feeding into uh, a manufacturing process where you put all those pieces together and you get something um, you know that's much more than the sum of its parts out. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about how data science fits into these more industrial manufacturing uh, applications. And so this is really related to two efforts. Uh, one is called Digital Twin. Uh, digital Twin. And the other is called Digital Thread. And these are kind of how um, how data science is impacting design of complex engineering systems like aircraft. Okay, so, um, and I'll just very, very briefly go over this. This is like, you could have a whole lecture series on digital twin and digital thread. This is just the overview. The digital twin is a data informed model of your complex system. And not just, uh, you know, in the past we've had lots of models of aerodynamics or, you know, composite uh, processes. We have these kind of local models. The digital twin is really an agglomeration, a kind of mega model that models all of the different scales and aspects of a larger process, like a whole manufacturing process. Um, this really is supposed to be a digital version of that physical uh, physical entity. And what, what's really important about these digital twins, it's not just a model, it's a model that is pinned to measurement data. So you have all of this rich data about that process. You're collecting all of this data. So this is related to things like the Internet of Things where you'll start having sensors and instrumentation, kind of ubiquitous instrumentation, and that data is going to be coming in and informing these uh, souped up models on steroids, essentially. So you can model your whole factory as a digital twin. People are talking about how to model kind of the, you know, the human body as a digital twin, uh, things like that. The digital thread is the data pipeline that enables that digital twin. So the digital thread means that you're going to be collecting information throughout the entire process, from design to sourcing of materials, all throughout the supply chain to when those start to be assembled and uh, created into this, um, into this large assembled object. Like think of a, a turbine or an aircraft, something you know, that's, that's many, many pieces. Uh, many people putting their design and engineering, uh, you know, capabilities to build this thing. The digital thread is this digital signature that, that tracks all of those parts and all of those pieces and all of those processes, all of the measurements you take of the system throughout that procedure go into this digital thread. And what that allows you to do is, uh, first of all, ask much, much more sophisticated questions about what upstream processes are affecting downstream, either issues or quality concerns or things like that. And so you have this much clearer feedback between the questions you can ask in this, this digital thread. Okay? So, I mean, I really simple, I think, of the digital thread as this kind of, you know, arrow <laughs> of, of, uh, of time, and you see kind of these processes as they get pulled in, uh, maybe you know all my rivets. I, I follow my rivets the whole time through the process and, and the composite processes. And, and you see this kind of complexity in all of these interweaving pieces, but everything has a digital signature, so you can kind of trace and do surveillance and, and supervision of the process and understand like what is most correlated with some downstream thing that I want to either improve or make more reproducible, things like that. Okay. Um, so I think this is really exciting. You have your, your digital twin model, your digital thread, which is the data pipeline 
uh, and architecture that facilitates that di digital twin. And this allows you to do kind of amazing, amazing things uh, both now and in the future. So I'm going to oversimplify a complex manufacturing process into a few steps. So let's say you have some design. And this is complicated, multi-objective, you know, there's cost, there's time, there's, you know, uh, uncertainty in this entire design process. Uh, maybe you have your manufacturing process. And again, this could, um, you know, it's one word here. This is a whole factory, uh, multiple factories, hundreds of factories, maybe across the globe working uh, kind of in this, this very intricate dance. Okay, and so of course your design and your manufacturing should be inherently linked. Once you make something, it goes into the real world, maybe it has to be certified. Um, so, you know, certification or validation testing. Uh, and then maybe when it actually goes into the real world, you collect kind of, uh, let's say, then it goes out into the real world. And you might want to collect data on how it's actually performing in the real world. And so, of course, these are not uh, all done in isolation today, but what the digital twin and digital thread will hopefully allow in the future is having much tighter feedback between these different, uh, these different core aspects of, of design and manufacturing, certification, and then tying that to real world performance, uh, maintenance, things like that. Uh, and maybe even in the design phase, you know, what's the business model? Who are you gonna sell these products to? What, what needs does it fill? And so really kind of giving feedback at all of these different levels, um, you know, kind of coupling back to the design phase and the manufacturing and, and tying these together in a more kind of tightly coupled and holistic view is really the goal of this digital twin and digital thread. Um, and I think uh, the way I think about this, you might have a lot of historical data that you can use to inform the next, well, maybe you can improve your current manufacturing, your current certification, your current designs. But maybe you can also use that information so that the next product that's being designed for manufacturability, uh, you can kind of incorporate that knowledge into future designs. And so, so there's a lot of, uh, first of all, there's a lot to unpack here. This is just a very shallow overview of very, very deep subjects. And these are uh, under continuous development. So these are relatively uh, kind of hot ideas. Lots of people are, are investing lots of time understanding what is the best way of building digital twins and digital thread architectures to improve these systems. Uh, so this is really exciting and there's gonna be a lot of development but the idea is that this can massively kind of lift the fog uh, that has made us develop so much in isolation with, with, uh, with handoffs. So we can kind of take away some of that fog and make it much clearer how different um, decisions upstream affect things downstream. Okay, thank you.